dark on bottom, color up top. This trend caught flame in the 90s, and we still see both student and professional practitioners at it today. Your black pants and long skirts say, We studied at some of the finest conservatories and music schools in the country, so take us seriously. But our colorful tops say, We're not uptight about it. Serious music can be serious fun. Pros. You'll be the best dressed patron at Applebee's at the after concert hang. Cons. This is no different than the outfit you wore to your eighth grade dance, and it doesn't look any better now than it did back then. This look almost necessitates a tucked in shirt, which either works or it doesn't, and in this case, it doesn't. All black. For many decades, the standard attire for hardcore classical musicians who mostly play contemporary music. This look says, It's not about me, it's about the music. Me? I'm just the vessel. Pros. In a chamber or group setting, there's nothing more intelligently uniform than everyone in black. And it's a well known fact that dressing in all black makes people look smarter than they actually are, which is particularly useful when playing contemporary music. Cons. Though easy to implement in theory, mistakes still can be made, especially for student musicians new to the idea of all black. Does it just refer to clothes? Or do shoes and socks need to be black also? Can I still wear a white undershirt? Etc. Grayscale. This look says, we don't like color, but we also don't like the absence of it. We're still very serious about the business at hand, but I don't know, are we? The combinations here are endless gray and black, black and gray, dark gray and white, white and black, dark gray and light gray, and so on. Pros. It comes across as a more mature and sophisticated look than black on bottom, color up top. And, unlike all black, grayscale practitioners don't just look smart, they are smart. Cons. The chance and fear that someone dresses in all white, thereby ruining every ounce of music to be played that evening. Layers and accessories. This look says, I have a friend who's a stylist, and this is what she said to do. Pros. Climate change. Start the concert with all layers on, but if the stage proves to be warmer than the green room, take a layer off mid-show. If a draft develops late in the concert, put the layer back on. Dressing and undressing on stage enriches the experience for the audience twofold. Cons. Layers and accessories can appear arbitrary and forced. Do I need this hat to protect my head from the sun during my 8 p.m. evening concert indoors? Well, let's hope the audience doesn't think too hard about that. <laughs> Business wear. A form of layering for sure because most likely it involves a jacket or coat. Business formal? Dress it up a bit with a tie. Business casual? Who needs a tie? Or a second button, for that matter. Pros. Relatability. This tells many in the audience, hey, I'm just like you. I too stood around the water cooler today and patted a couple people on the back for a job well done. And you better believe I caught the big game last night, just like you did. But now, I'm playing Ligeti for you. Cons. You also wear this to funerals. Club, or going out wear. This one says, what's it to you, establishment? 
when wearing club gear, you probably don't even know what the gig is. Am I playing with my rock band tonight? Or am I playing Andreessen with my chamber group? Huh, who knows? And for that matter, who cares? What? Is my hair messed up? Oh, I didn't notice. Or maybe I spent 45 minutes making it look this way. Whatever. Pros. If you finally get an offer to play a show in New York for little to no money at a highly suspect venue, at least you'll know for certain to wear this look. And by the way, congrats on the gig. Cons. You've already been wearing this outfit for the past several weeks, and everyone coming to the show has seen you in it. So that makes the music less special. Formal wear. Nothing, and I mean nothing, puts an audience at ease like seeing a bunch of musicians in formal wear playing highly complex and challenging music with bulky jackets on. Without a doubt, this is the ultimate in classical music performance attire. Pros, super comfortable and easy to play in. Nothing allows for full freedom of motion quite like a tuxedo shirt and coat. And the bow tie? It keeps things cool and calm around the neck. Cons. Everything we just said under prose is untrue. Nothing, and I mean nothing, feels worse to play in than formal wear. <laughs>